think I'm in kind of a dangerous spot because all these trees were poisoned about two or three years ago by the Parks Department and they died. And when they died, their roots started to rot. And then when the winds came up last year, they blew over. Well here, to get to our work area, we have to walk through here and we're planting trees in here, but it looks a little risky to me. And I'm kind of worried, Mr. Mayor, that this tree is gonna fall and hit me on the head while I'm working here. So why on earth do you have volunteers work in spaces where you poisoned the tree three years ago and they fell over a year ago and the work area hasn't been closed yet due to safety? And where is the tree crew? And what is the threshold diameter difference between the, the size of wood that the natural area crew can work on that clears brush versus the tree crew that clears trees? What are those specifications? We need to know. That might be a little extreme of the video. So here we are at the fire station, doing our little walkthrough. We've got uh, sidewalk covered, basically. So the sidewalk needs to be cleared, the bus stop needs to be cleared. we got a lot of clematis. You guys into clematis? That's, uh, that's this stuff. So you've got uh, English laurel hanging out over the bus stop. And so what I'm doing is clearing this chain link fence, which has a bunch of stuff grown through grass, English laurel, weeds, and there's a utility pole right here at the corner. And the utility pole just holds up this pole across the street. This is the number. And it's got a locust tree that has grabbed onto this temporary chain link fence. And it's a full height tree. So to get it out of there, we're gonna need a uh, crew. And then all this stuff uh, is going in my truck. And then what we've done is we've cleared this ground uh, down to the creek. And we got a lot of blackberries to haul out of here cherry trees and locust trees to haul out of here and so that's basically what we're doing today